Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another review. Today we will be exploring how to create a partition in Windows 7 and this same tutorial applies for our Windows 8, Vista, and Windows 10 users. I know I said that a little bit out of order, but pretty much the same rules apply. Now before we begin, you may be asking yourselves why should we make a partition? And the biggest reason, at least for myself, is that I like to have a backup of files and documents stored on the computer. Now sometimes your partitions index file, which basically will search your hard drive looking for specific files, it'll be corrupted with errors and then your computer may not be able to load. And even if you use a recovery disk or an emergency repair kit, you still might not be able to recover the contents of your hard drive. And by creating a partition, we create a separate area of the hard drive that we could extract data from in the event of a situation like that. So that's personally why I use partitions. But anyway, let's begin uh, by clicking on the start button here. We start type, let's start typing in disk management here. And then under the control panel, we'll see a link here, create and format hard disk partitions. We want to click on that. Let's just blow this up full screen here. Now we will see our disk located right here. If you have a backup D drive, it'll be shown here as well. We see the size of our one main drive. We only have one drive on this computer. So if we click on computer, we only have one main local disk. Now to create a partition, we have to right click on the C drive or whichever drive is the main hard drive. So whichever one typically has the most amount of space available. So it may be labeled under a different name depending on the computer, but generally it's a C drive. And we're going to shrink this volume. Now this could take a little while depending on the size of your hard drive. Mine is very small, it's only 15 gigabytes, but if you have a terabyte hard drive it could take considerably longer. Uh, like I'm just going to wait for this to finish up and I will be right back. Now we have to enter an amount that we want this separate partition to be in megabytes. Because we don't have a very large hard drive here, I am going to do 1 gigabyte or 1024 megabytes. Now, I think it should be common sense, but you don't want to make your partition too large as you st your primary drive still has to have a decent amount of space on it. So generally for this purpose of this review, I'm only going to do 1 gigabyte of space. Uh, we're going to shrink this. Now this may take a couple minutes, so once our partition has been created, I will be back. Hello everybody, I am back. We now see that our C drive is only 14 gigabytes, as one gigabyte of that has been allotted for our one gigabyte soon to be partition over here on the right. So now what we should do is right click on that, click on new simple volume, get this pop-up window here, let's click on next. Now, we can't get a full gigabyte. Normally, it'll take one or two megabytes off of whatever you allot for the partition, but that should be fine. So we're going to click Next. Now we can assign the following drive letter. Uh, you can assign any letter. It appears from uh, A to Z, so long as you don't already have a drive with that name. Personally, it doesn't really matter what you go with. Uh, let's just do H for this example. Let's click on Next. Okay, and now leave our file system to NTFS. Don't change it to FAT or FAT32. Allocation unit size, keep that default. And volume label, this is where you label your driving, label whatever you want. I'm just gonna label it back up here. Make sure this is checkmarked for perform a quick format because if you have it otherwise, it could take a very long time to, to create this partition. Let's click next. All right, this new simple volume wizard, you have successfully completed the new simple volume wizard to close this window, close finish. We now see that the black header on top of our new drive has been changed to the same blue that can be found on top of the C drive. We just get an autoplay here saying that we can access our new drive. And just to verify this, we can go under computer and we can see our backup drive can be located right here. And like I was saying earlier, we don't get a full gigabyte or whatever amount you allot for this because you lose a little bit of the space size when you're creating a partition but generally speaking that's pretty much just of it hope this video helped you guys out 
Uh, maybe I'll be making a video about how to delete a partition soon, but I think that'll be about it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and have a great day, guys.